uh, last thing I remember thinking last night was, uh, oh man, I'm gonna have to think for a second. I'm still kind of groggy. Uh, I think the last thing I remember thinking last night was how funny my bunk smells. Last night I went to bed pretty late. Uh, got into a little, a small tiff with my girlfriend and I, that was the last thing I remember. I think the first thing I thought this morning was had something to do with a very epic long dream I had that involved swimming and people I knew, but I can't remember all of it, but I woke up in kind of a one of those grogs that after a very, very long dream. The first thing I remember this morning was uh, uh, seeing the sun outside for the first time. The messiest member in our band, I know all the other guys would say me, but um, I think there's messy and there's dirty. I would say I'm probably the messiest because I have the most uh, items on the road. I have like uh, a computer bag full of all kinds of peripherals and uh, equipment and everything. And I bring probably the most clothes because I guess being the lead singer comes with the territory or slightly a diva in some ways. <laughs> I would say the messiest member has to be Johnny, uh, our singer. It's not so much that he's dirty or truly messy, he just has so much stuff that a lot of times it's everywhere. As far as dirtiest, I would say Daniel. But that's mainly because he's uh, fixing things on the road. He's building our metal uh, contraptions that are on stage or fixing the van if it's broken down. So he's usually walking into the venue with grease on his face or uh, metal shreddings all over his hands or whatever. <laughs> that would probably be me. Uh, I definitely love to party, uh, but hey, who can blame me? Life's fun. The biggest partier in the band is most likely uh, Daniel and Mark in a close second. I think Paul is probably the least social in the band, and uh, I'm somewhere in the middle. The earliest riser in the band, I, I want to say, is Paul or Mark. Paul's like the, uh, uh, I don't know, he's like the structured guy in the group. He's very scheduled and methodical and everything, uh, but Mark just, Ever since I've known him, which was when we were kids, he always woke up early and I was always the sleep as late as possible guy. And so he'd always wake up early when he'd be spending the night and he'd start playing guitar or something and I'd get super pissed and throw something at his head from the, from the bed because I wanted to keep sleeping. So it's always kind of been that way. Early Riser would definitely be Paul, our drummer. Uh, many times I wake up and, you know, Paul's like had a full day of activity, comes in with like some fancy coffee and a huge meal, also, you know, gifts for his family, things like that. And it's like, where did you find the time to do this? So it has to be him. The most valuable lesson I've learned from uh, being on the road with uh, three other people that are kind of like, become kind of like your brothers on the road um, is uh, I guess learning where to where to meet people where they're at um, in regards to their preferences, their likes and their dislikes, their habits. Um, like we're all very different people, but we come together when it comes to music and, and what we love. So we share a bond there. But but we are very different. So it's um, it's kind of a learning process of learning how to co. Uh, habitate, uh, I don't know if that's the word, but you know, live together. And the hardest thing is trying to realize that what annoys you doesn't always annoy someone else, but what doesn't annoy you many times does annoy someone else. Uh, so it's just learning how to navigate all those things and keep the peace. I think the most valuable thing for all of us is just to give each other space. If any of us are in a weird mood or I don't know, you know, we're around each other all the time that we, we do experience like the full spectrum of each other's emotions and man cycles, if you will. So uh, I think just space and understanding. 
The one thing I can't do without is definitely my computer um, or my phone. I'm definitely a technological junkie. Um, I'm, but then again, I'm the guy in the band that's usually doing video work or uh, you know, programming, song ideas, electronic ideas on the computer. So um, I'm usually the geek just with my headphones on the computer while everybody else is, you know, having a good time. <laughs> my water bottle, actually. I have a cool Nalgene water bottle. I think it's in here somewhere, but I think I, think I drink like four gallons of water a day. So when I'm without that thing, I'm a little bit weird. The best things on tour are probably uh, just the adrenaline rush every night of being on stage. I know that when I get home and for an extended period of time, uh, which at first it's nice to be home and kind of calm down and not have to perform every night, but after about a week or so, um, I find very quickly that my body, it, it's almost kind of addicted to that adrenaline rush every night, so it wants to get it again. and. Uh, and so I kind of start going into a slump, like a, a physical slump if I don't stay active and work out and whatnot. I would say the worst part of being on the road is the, uh, the food. Um, most of the time is, is uh, you just eat what you can uh, and sometimes it's not always the greatest and you end up eating sandwiches a lot, which gets old quick. And um, just the schedule all in all, um, it's just kind of an unhealthy, environment altogether, your hours that you're awake, um, you're, you usually feel bad and when you feel bad you usually comfort yourself with bad food or smoking cigarettes or drinking more so it's you know it's hard to just stay uh, stay uh, healthy and upright. <laughs>